you guys park the car. I'll meet you in the lobby after. Listen, let's pretend like we don't know each other. Let's pretend not to know our own names. Let's not use our real names. Okay, fine. Just remember, whatever either of us says goes. You can't deny an improv. I took an improv class in college. The only class I got a grade in. Now, if Jane's there today, I call dibs. You can have the rest. Deal. Hat, no hat. No hat. No hat it is. You ever get pissed because like, you find this really good restaurant that's close to your house, but you didn't know about it. Somehow you've been missing it. And it's like, ah, I've been missing out on this this whole time. And I'm just finding out. You should go to sex group. So, I just lost my apartment. My roommate's sister was visiting and we all went out drinking and we were dancing. And my disease got the best of me. It is a disease. So, you don't have anywhere to stay. Yeah, I'm checking into a hotel tonight. We have all been there. I got kicked out of my apartment because one night I was drinking and I just walked in on my roommate who was taking a shower and began making love to him. <laughs> Not even gay. <laughs> oh, gosh. I slept with my second cousin. Isn't that considered okay, like, uh, like sleeping with a second aunt? I would imagine that would depend on what state you're in, Justin. Eugene, don't you think once you've slept with another man, you're bisexual? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I, I only did it several times, and it was the 80s, so it was the risk I was after. Uh, yeah, I, I would think you're probably gay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew it from the last time I was in here. Do you think it's time to maybe, uh, you know, hop out of the closet? Justin, don't make me regret letting you back into the group. And while you're here, do your best to be respectful when you're in the circle. Respect the circle. Yeah, don't be a circle jerk. We don't call people names here, Mr. Man. What is your name again? It's Ron. Oh. I thought it was Rob earlier. No, it's Ron. Welcome to the group, Ron. We only have two rules. Be respectful and no name calling and no judgment. That's three. Uh, yeah, just to be clear, everyone, uh, I'm not a circle jerk. All right, well, thanks for the orientation, Eugene. Uh, but I have been to a few of these before. Good for you. And you are a total circle jerk. You're sitting over here jerking people left and right. You're the circle jerk, Hot Nuts. Hot Nuts sounds yummy. Karen, stop. How am I a circle jerk? Because you come in here one time, think you're leading the group. Like, telling people that, that, that they're, they're, they're jerking to the left, they're jerking to the right. You're a cocksucker. That's right, that's right, it's true. He told me in the hall. Don't deny it. I only said that because I wanted to make him feel more comfortable because he just told me he was on the receiving end of a gangbang one time. I never said that, you son of a bitch. Oh, don't deny it. It's true, I, I said it, but, but, but you said you like the taste of ball sweat. Don't deny it. I said I like the taste of my own ball sweat. I had a girlfriend who told me it tasted pretty good before, so I tried it once. It wasn't that bad. And I only said that to make you more comfortable because you said you literally like to eat shit. I ate shit once. You can't say that. You were a circle jerk. You were, you were a circle jerking dick bag who's a shitty fucking quarterback. And, and, and you don't respect the 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 and in, 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 um Is there an Anna in the house? Anonymity? <laughs> now you're calling me names, just the sort of thing a circle jerk would do, and you're violating the group bond. Oh, I'll show you how I'm gonna violate you, hot nuts. <coughs> Why don't you share with the group how I would know if you're violating me? You could violate me like a violin. I'm not a circle jerk, everyone. I'm just making an observation about. Eugene here. This conversation is triggering the shit out of me. 
Enough about me. Let's move on. <sighs> Ron, why don't you tell us all about yourself? Well, I just moved up here from the city. I um, lost my job because I uh, slept with my boss's wife and his daughter and her, her roommate. But I got a new job. Pay is great. And uh, I just bought an Audi. How did it all start? I was just about to get there, Karen. I guess it started when I was about 16. I had a music teacher. I was a very gifted student, and uh, she gave me private lessons. She, um, she taught me how to please an audience. She would um, teach me how to feel my own gratification in the elation of others. And uh, she would make me do bondage on her, like light, light bondage. You know, and sometimes she would make me make her climax six or seven times before she would return the favor. And I got pretty good at that. Well, that sounds terrible. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Yeah, cool, man. So you're a quarterback? Yeah. What did I tell you? Sex group.